Bitch. We like to make videos online that just kind of push the boundaries. The purpose in our videos is mostly just to make people laugh, but also kind of freak. Who are you making laugh? I'm sorry to stop the video, but who is laughing? I don't know, bro. Also, that eye makeup is whack. We both have had videos go massively viral. The attention is well. Yeah. It's pretty freaking easy to go viral on TikTok. I walked into the store with Bamarin, and, you know, we found an ice cream. I opened it up, licked it. <laughs> let's go, let's go. I decided to drink mouthwash and gargle it back into the bottle and put it back on the shelf. It's a minty and fresh. The way you spit it back. <laughs> it's classic. <laughs> we didn't do Shut anything up. wrong because when we did our videos, we actually paid for the products. We did this because... But nobody knows that. So you're influencing like young children to also do this. And they're not gonna pay for it. Little Billy, who lives across the street from the local Walmarts, is going to do this. And little Billy is like 10. Little Billy doesn't have money. So little Billy isn't gonna buy the product. Little Billy is just gonna do it. You guys are stupid. We want our faces out there. We wanted attention. There was literally no other reason besides us literally just wanting to be famous. And that's the problem with today's society. Right after we made our viral videos, we just posted them as soon as possible. You posted a viral video? And it went crazy. The next morning when I woke up, 30 million views. It went insane. Daddy. Million Daddy. Of views. Daddy. I was literally just sitting on my bed, scrolling, scrolling. Where else would you be? You don't get out of the house. And it went to 18 million by the end of the night. Wow. A lot of consequences came with these videos. No! I got fired from my job. I'm banned from Walmart. And I got banned from Instagram for about a month and a half. I opened up my social media. Oh no, your life, Instagram. Thousands of death threats in my DMs of people genuinely wanting to hurt me. The police actually showed up at my job, but <laughs> luckily I made sure to keep the receipt in my wallet because I'm smart like that. I had to go to the police station. I don't think bro smart. I think that eye makeup is literally the only reason that eye makeup is pink and so much is because it has sucked the brain out of his head through his eyeballs. That's why there's bags under his eyes. One, because he's a little stupid idiot who doesn't sleep because, you know, his life is TikTok. Two, because he, it, it, his brain has been sucked out of his head if he ever had one. Goodness for five hours ever since we made our mark on the influencer community we realized that it was the place for us and we don't ever want to leave you made your we're mark it's so easy here. if anything we're just gonna get more and more followers yeah until the entire world dies because they try to shoot stones no my boy oh that eye makeup again but ladies and gentlemen shut sh stupid idiots for more followers it's my boy, the man himself, Dr. Phil on screen. Look, look at this. He gets all the women. Okay. Now, you did this by design, right? Created, the, yes. You wanted to get, you wanted it to go viral. You wanted to get millions of people to look at this. And that we did, yeah. Yeah, and how do you monetize that? Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, after going massively viral and having thousands- You didn't go massively viral! You can get, like, on TikTok, you can get, like, like two followers and get, like, like, 1K views in one night. Because it's just a freaking algorithm. It's messed up. It's whack! This is up celebrities tweet about you and talk about you for weeks. Getting ads on Snapchat right now. Uh -huh. You've probably seen them. Yeah. No. And... Ha! <laughs> yeah, he's on Snapchat. So you make- money like he money to live to on money yeah lots of it so you had negative <laughs> backlash <laughs> i'm making the same list that's all that we got lady. was negative backlash and money that's literally it and followers. Been... well he just don't expose himself 
that's some of the only reasons people are like are on TikTok. If you are on TikTok and you've got like get, make a massive income, but you generally enjoy doing the stuff, just don't go around like. Don't be in it for the money, man. Be in it for the entertainment. If you're just gonna be in it for the money, go work at a convenience store and stop snagging the ice creams in the wild wow Creams in the wild wow Creams in the wild wow Okay? That's all I ask. Online. Yeah. Or, like, how so? There were people on social media acting like they knew me and like being like, oh, I used to be friends with him. Oh, he's blah, 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 blah. And they would get like 200,000 likes on the tweet. Again, the algorithm on most social media platforms is whack. 200,000 likes for someone who already has like 100 followers isn't that big. It's not that deep, bro. It's simply not that deep. It's like, literally, if you talk about me, you can go viral for a day. And now, Midwit attempts to get a following. His. My people, I'm talking about you. I'm, I'm talking about this man. I want to go viral. Let's make it happen, people. <laughs> That's how relevant I am. The only thing relevant about you is your resemblance to Bushy Brows from Naruto. That's it. The ship has been strained with Bamron. Lars has a habit of taking credit and not giving credit where credit is due. But what y'all need to know is the ice cream video was my idea. No one cares. You both are idiots. You, you not, neither of you are, you know, crackheads. Neither of you are, oh good goodness, you are not pretty or handsome. I don't care. Shut up. Nobody cares about your stupid nails and nobody cares about your gosh darn ideas. I don't know why I said nails ish. Nails. That's a good thing. Yeah. I yeah. mean, that's why my nails are in the video. I had to be a part of it. Oh, yeah. so his nails were in the video. Yes, that's why I said nails, huh? I've seen somebody do a commentary on this video before. Recently, which is how I found this video, but this is a three year old video. I hope these idiots are not still on TikTok, or Twitter, or Instagram, or Facebook, or Snapchat, or Discord, bro. <laughs> Don't go on Discord. The nails are in the video because I handed you the ice cream, but I'm the one in the video, so it doesn't matter whose idea it was. You're lucky I even recorded it. I'm more relevant than you, so I'm not going to talk about you. Okay, but I constantly give you video ideas. Wait, I didn't come on here to fight you. Like, we can talk about this somewhere else. <laughs> We're literally on Dr. Phil. Like, let's talk to right. him. Yeah. Yeah, let's continue. <laughs> This is modeling bad behavior for- Like I said, ladies and gentlemen, yes, yes it is. For like really young people. It's easy to go viral, you just have to make sure you're not- That's what I'm saying! It's too easy! Now, does that make me dumb because I said that point? No, I took him longer to realize I'm smarter. Get arrested. And we're not like- telling other people to do it well they're children obviously they're gonna do it they're little impressionable five five-year-olds fifth graders come on you say you want to inspire lgbtq right and you want but you just said you're not telling people to do it so are you just gonna tell the lgbtq kid lgbt kids to do it and not other kids don't tell any kids to do it. Don't tell anyone to don't do it. <sighs> yeah, it's just whack. I want to inspire them how? Well, basically, I want to build the platform first, and I'll kind of do anything it takes to do, get there. But I just want to show people that there is someone out there like them, and you can kind of be crazy and still be LGBTQ and a good person. But I thought you weren't telling anybody to do it. You're not. Look. There's a lot of words. That have, have changed meaning. Some of which I want to remove from my vocabulary. Crazy just has a twisted meaning now. I'm not going to remove that from my vocabulary. 
but there's other words with twisted meanings now that I really want to remove from my from my vocabulary. Yeah. You guys these two aren't crazy like oh I'm a crackhead, which is also a word that I'm removing from from my vocabulary. Cause holy crap. They're not crackheads. They're just thoughts. They're okay. They're not crackheads. They are. They say that they're crazy in a crackhead way. Nah, they're crazy like they're mental. You know what that blue eye makeup is? That's blue talkie dust. Cause I know this kid's wow. It's talkies all day on his bed, making TikToks about his talkies. First time, right? Yeah. And what do y'all's families think about you doing these stunts, these pranks? Personally, mine don't love it, but it's not going to stop me because it's getting me somewhere, obviously. I guess. Right. Valid. You? I mean, I don't talk to my family. Why not? They're irrelevant. They're irrelevant? None of them have followers. If they got followers or got rich, I'd probably talk to them again. I forgot he said that. What do you even say to that? Like, I love my family to bits and pieces. That's... He probably loved his parents when he was a kid too. And it's like his family. So the fact that he doesn't talk to them because they don't have followers or money is whack. Like, you can already tell this kid was super spoiled. So the fact that he cut off his parents and the rest of his, like, his siblings or whatever, if he has siblings, and they spoiled him like that, he's insane. Now, hang on a minute. Did you just say I don't talk to my family because they don't have followers? Yes, Mr. Phil. If they had followers, they'd be here right now. You talk about your mother? I mean, my mom has more followers than my sister. It's your mother. What do you what, what do you mean she make? What do you care if she has followers or not? It's your mother. My boy. Your mother birthed you. Your mother and your father. I'm not gonna get into the details, but you are a product of those two. And your sister. Well, I mean, I guess you've probably fought with her a lot, but, well. I bet she still loves you. <laughs> That's, wow. Some people. Can anyone tell me like what I would talk to my mom about if she's not going to be making me relevant? <laughs> yeah, like, hi, mom. Now I have a career and I'm famous. Like, that's what happens. Making you relevant. She made you relevant 25 years ago. When she birthed you? When you get famous, you cut people off. People, not your mother, Seriously? not your father. Everyone's upset with it. Maybe because you guys aren't relevant either, so you don't understand. They were all relevant the day that they were born too. There's... Also, why is he the only person talking? Like, let's get the other dude. Oh, I just got possessed by Vecna, guys! Scumbunnies! You're just scumbunnies! Maybe I'm just, I'm out of sync, I guess, because I didn't know you till today, and if you got to wear an... an no, I'm not... Why I'm so sassy? I, I, I'm, 
No, no, no. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just not in the big. I'm not big on. I got it. You know. I no, bro. Be rude, rude, bro. Right. But I mean, I've had the same. I've had the same secretary for 45 years. I've had the same accountant for 45 years. I've had people that have been in my life. I don't cut people off. Well, you were famous. You're Dr. Phil. So you didn't need well, to. Well, not 45 years ago. He's big headed. He just likes to cut people off for fun. He's ruined a few of my relationships as well. You know what I found? It's the bigger the star, the smaller the ego. Um, I don't have an ego. My boy.